Hello, today I would like to show how to create a model for rocky fluent coupling. So I'll start with fluent. So basically I have loaded my geometry, which I created in um, ANSYS Discovery and I mashed in ANSYS uh, Workbench Mashing. So basically what we have here is an aerated uh, tank where we have water inside and air being added in the bottom of the domain uh, in the Z axis. Um, and then it, air is allowed also to flow out of the domain through a pressure uh, outlet boundary condition. So looking at the boundary conditions again I have an air inlet here <clears throat> with a certain amount of air being added uh, and I'm just gonna open here so I have a very small flow of air uh, my tank is not that big so <clears throat> basically air is added here and we have three phases as you can see here which are defined in the Olerian <coughs> tab so in the Olerian dialog box um, so if you go into multi-phase and this is mainly <clears throat> this is the key to actually make sure that your model works uh, with Rocky as well. So you have to uh, basically select Olerian model uh, and make sure it's implicit. Um, and for the phases, I have basically three phases. I have a phase containing water uh, that I've defined as a mixture of water and some dissolved gases, air, which is an air mixture containing uh, oxygen, uh, some uh, nitrogen of course and uh, a little bit of CO2 and the particles are defined here here I define a certain material for the particles uh, <clears throat> but basically this material will be used um, by the uh, DEM model uh, as well so basically I have air as ad added at uh, as bubbles uh, mono dispersed bubbles of five millimeters uh, each Water is my continuous uh, primary phase, and um, yeah, that's basically it. That's all that we need here um, to set up my to set up a rocky simulation. Um, <clears throat> so basically, once we establish the model, um, we can go on into into rocky. Um, but before I do that, I, I can it's advisable to run the model a bit to make sure it's uh, working well uh, so I've done that already uh, and you can see here uh, in the volume fraction for air we can see uh, how air is getting injected into the into my domain um, and how it's evolving basically so we have water as blue air is red um, and we can see that air uh, the, the air inlets are air streams are basically interacting with the water. So um, to initialize uh, I had to first go into solutions and then patch and then I have regions here for air and water so the region for water is basically defined by the cell register. Um, basically I selected a region in my domain um, my domain goes from 0 to uh, around 0.2 uh, meters so 20 centimeters and um, 0.15 from the bottom all the way to 0.15 is water and the rest is air uh, and once we start adding air uh, as our simulation runs uh, we will have uh, water rising a little bit so we can look at also um, things like uh, the velocity profile as well. Um, I've added other physics to it, uh, but we're not really looking at that for now, uh, such as like mass transfer between gases from uh, gas to liquid. Um, but let's look at the velocity profile. So you can see the velocity profile here uh, for, the, for the water phase, as well as for the air. Um, and for now you see that I have this uh, phase called particles here which I'm not really using at this point it's only defined and this is what I'm going to uh, this is where Rocky comes in Rocky will link this phase and this will become my DEM phase in Rocky but I do have to have that phase uh, reserved for, for Rocky 
So moving over to Rocky, here is the simulation that I loaded already from uh, Fluent uh, using the two-way coupling. So to do that, first thing is you go into study and there will be an option to enable CFD coupling. Uh, and I've enabled two-way coupling with Fluent. So this will show up, uh, two-way Fluent, and then this is where you can basically uh, couple your simulation with, uh, with Fluent. Uh, to do that, you also have to prepare the environment here in Rocky. Uh, so you have to define your particles, your DEM particles. Uh, here I define particles with a size of one uh, millimeter, uh, the same as what I have in, in Fluent for my particle phase. Um, and you can define other properties like movement, composition, um, as well as uh, things like the density of the particle, for example, uh, and so and so on. Um, so basically, this is what we have. Um, I've, you also have to define where the particles are going to come in. Um, here I define an inlet uh, at the outlet boundary. So the outlet is for gas, and, but I define uh, that as an, my inlet for the particles to drop into the, into the domain so that they can reach the water level and basically interact with the aeration. Um, so basically I've defined a um, a mass flow rate of 0 0.04 tons per hour and that happens for a period of one second as shown here. So it starts at zero, goes all the way to one second and I'm running the whole model for three seconds uh, just for demonstration purposes. So basically this is where we load the particles, this is where we load the uh, inlet for the particles. Um, we, um, we also have to, uh, after enabling uh, CFD coupling, um, we have to enable interactions for the particles. So here I have a drag law for the particles here enabled, um, and we can also enable other uh, on other coupling as well. Um, I've also have a mapping method of un uniform distribution with an average radius types of uh, defined as fraction of maximum particle size, where the fraction value is defined as 0.7, and then. Um, for zones and interfaces, I just clicked on on the fluid, which is my uh, domain, uh, basically influent. Um, and then, for the this is where you actually load your case file from Fluent, so you can basically check this. Uh, click on, on load, and then load your and locate your file. And then once you click on use data initialization, add your data file as well. So that is basically the uh, summary of how to, to set it up. Uh, I also put the additional arguments of, of, um, of this one. Um, basically, this is to make sure that uh, the GUI doesn't uh, pop up when you start running your simulation, which makes uh, running um, things faster. So your Fluent won't uh, show up. You can still track its progress. Um, but yeah, so basically it speeds things up a, a bit. Um, and then for solver, this is where we define uh, the properties of um, our simulation in Rocky. So the simulation duration is three seconds. And we have a fluent output multiplier of two. Um, it, can be, um, it can be higher than that. Um, and then uh, another thing that I forgot to mention on the two-way coupling is uh, for Fluent. Basically, uh, one thing that it's good to do is uh, try trying to reduce the number of files to keep. Uh, so I have two, basically. Otherwise, if you keep the keep keep all files option, uh, you're gonna have a lot of memory, uh, basically, from all the data files that are generated. So that is basically it. Uh, once we start running, uh, we can see the evolution of particles dropping. So they have a fer fairly high velocity in the gas phase, but they drop significantly once they encounter the water uh, surface. And then they are allowed to mix. And you can see the arrows here are for the uh, fluid phase. So if I approach a little bit, you can see arrows that are for the, for the gas uh, water phase. And the particles are basically the dots of different colors, colored by the translation of velocity. Uh, something I should mention also there is the module. So there are different, a number of different modules that you can add. Um, 
to keep track of certain physics, uh, certain parameters. So I added a few of them, looking at uh, particle collision especially, and CFD coupling particle statistics as well. And uh, yeah, so that is basically it for uh, for this uh, short session on how to couple uh, fluent and uh, rocky um, for basically water treatment applications. Thank you so much and have a nice day.